Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 16 of Direwolf20's server play series. Hanging out with a bunch of guys and girls on the server here, just chilling, doing our normal stuff, and uh, working on my wither spawning area. So I wanted to show you guys what I came up with for spawning the wither. So here's the plan. You might be able to see it right there. Boom. That's what I got. I've got deployers. So here's what I'm going to do, and I'm running the wiring soon, but uh... I think I got a few buttons here in this new bag that I made. I'm gonna set it up like this. Hey Ice, you wanna come help me with this? You light it up, I will kill stuff because I can't do the both at the same time. So I'm gonna have right. the um, deployers extend out like this. One, two, three. I've got an extra frame or two on there, but no big deal. And uh, when it extends by three, look out, sorry, I'm about to turn on the force field. Boom. Uh, I'll turn on the force field and then inside I'll emit a redstone signal that actually activates the deployers which will set down the soul sand and the wither skeleton skulls and then what I'll do is this one no wait wrong way one I broke something oh you can't now because of the force field yeah can you turn the force field off for me yeah thanks there we go all right, turn it on. There we are. So now it's back the way it was. One, two, three. Cool. And the force field closes behind you. So as soon as the uh, deployers get out of the way, the force field closes. So during that time period, the wither is probably spawning, and then the force field will close behind the deployers, so the explosion from the wither won't hurt the deployers at all. How's that for a plan? Nice. Not bad, right? So now I'm just running some cabling. So we'll have, um, you know, uh, we'll do the blue, we'll do light blue for um, it going in and magenta for it going out. I'm out of torches. I can give you some in just a second. I have to find out where the zombie is so he doesn't jump on us. Okay, I know where he is. And I'm hoping I brought enough of this stuff. I think I did. There, there's two cool. stacks. So now, of course, the other thing I got to worry about is being able to actually activate the. Um, Did you fill this section? Deployers. Uh, no, I didn't get in there yet. All right, it's just dead end. Yeah, I knew it was a dead end. I just hadn't gotten in there yet. I was trying to find so that I zombie. Guess I'll use yellow for deployer activation. Got another cavern over here, by the way. This is a dead end. If you can come up this direction first. What you guys oh, up to? I'm up here. <laughs> We're dumping out a cavern system under my base. Oh, that sounds cool. Big base. Go use iCraft blocks. <laughs> that would have been lots and lots of iCraft blocks, but hey. Who all's up there? Looks like there's two other people up there. Not me. So that should back. work. I don't even need this block anymore, so that'll be cool. So that'll, number one, prevent it from going further back any more than it would oh, by sweet. mistake. And that'll also pulse when I hit yellow. It should, because I used uh, redstone pneumatic tubes inside, not to be able to transport stuff, but just to be able to activate uh, the deployers all at once. I'll come back for that. Nice. music disc in this dungeon chest, by the way. Not bad, right? Yeah, I, I left the chest there for you, but uh, yeah. No, I was like, oh, spider spawner, spawner. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, do a little computer programming to get this tested, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, minor changes to the wiring down here. I actually had to put this guy here, and then this guy's over here. And when the thing extends, they connect, and that's what allows it to go yellow. So there's no way that you can accidentally, um, you know, create a wither in here without this thing being fully extended. Okay, so that's one precautionary measure. Um, I haven't figured out a precautionary measure to make sure the force field stays on. Right now we're having a little bit of power generation issue. We don't have nearly enough power to keep this thing running at a decent length of time, but we're doing all right. Like Zorn's running back and forth with Lapatrons. I'll have some kind of power generation in here somehow, some way, to make sure that we have plenty of uh, EU ready to, you know, charge up this force field. But it shouldn't be on all the time. Like right now it's not draining. Like there's nothing using the force energy. You can see it's just sitting there being static. Uh, the only time the force energy is used is when a battle is going on. 
So let's check it out. I'm not ready to spawn withers in here just yet, but here's the system that I've designed with computercraft touchscreen monitors. And I can even cover up like this stuff. Like I said, ignore the fact that the touchscreen is being funny like that. That's like a debug um, video setting that I have. Uh, just kind of ignore it. So button press time. All right, you've got uh, two options basically. One, to engage the wither, or two, emergency shutdown. And emergency shutdown ain't going to do all that much. Um, it's going to basically not do anything, I don't think, except kill anything nearby. So if there's any and any enemies nearby, so zombies or skeletons or anything like that, they'll die if you hit the emergency shutdown command. And it only runs for five seconds. Okay, So that's not going to do anything right now, but it will do something if we've got the engage wither going on. So let's try it. Engage wither. Boom. It's going to extend the deployers and open up the force field. And you'll note that two new buttons showed up. Yes and no. <laughs> cool. So uh, what's going to happen when we hit no? Well, it's basically like a confirmation. Are you sure you want to fight the wither? Hit no, and it'll retract and turn off the force field, and it resets the system. So it's back to the way it was. However, if you engage wither and then hit yes, ta-da, it'll deploy and then retract. And then that's like the warm-up period for the wither showing up. Bada bing, bada boom. What you can do now at this point is either A, go fight the wither and kill him, or B, decide that he's too much for you and you want to wimp out and hit the emergency shutdown. Uh, and if you do kill him, you're going to have to hit emergency shutdown because there's no way I can detect when the wither actually dies. So I can't just be like, okay, he killed him now. We can shut off the system now. Uh, so whoever comes in here to do this needs to hit the emergency shutdown and that'll turn green for a moment. What it's doing is killing all entities nearby and then it's going to shut off the force field a few seconds later. How cool is that? Um, and I just had a couple pieces of cobble in here, so that's why we wound up with, uh, you know, what we wound up with. Cool. So that is pretty neat. You like that, Neptune? Yes. <laughs> and I'm making people fight the wither, because there's no way I want to have them, like, be auto-killed. So that's pretty much where we're at. Like, I think the next test here is really just to try spawning a wither. What do you guys think? Should we do it? Get some of these stuff ready, and I'll be doing that. All right, you're charging up Lapatrons for me, right? Yep. Cool. So I'm going to get that. a few um, wither skulls and uh, see what we can come up with. That recipe still didn't work, Soren. Okay. So I'm just grabbing a stack of wither skulls. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> stack. Stack. I'm just getting a stack. Don't mind me. We'll just, and you know, no ignore you. That's fine. I think we have some soul sand around here, don't we? It'd be a fancy if we had any. Or. I know we had some. I'm almost positive we had some soul sand. Maybe I threw it in my uh, room over here. If not, I'm gonna have to go get some soul sand for this. Oh, I have some in my bag for you. Oh, do you? How much do you have? Stack. Huh? Stack about. All right, cool. Hook me up. Yeah, I just need two of that circus, and we're all set to go. Nice. Oh, you're making the uh... multi tools. Awesome, you're the man. You the man. You are the man. So, like, basically, I'm going to give people, like, chests to store their items in because we don't want people going in there to fight the wither and, like, having a problem, right? So we'll give them a chest to dump all their items in that they don't need to bring in there with them. That'll be a cool plan. And for now, uh, so I am actually going to spawn a wither here in a moment, guys. So, you know, warning, warning. <laughs> wither skull, wither skull. With our skull. Now, there's one problem that I might run into, and I'm really, really hoping I don't. But if I do, well, we'll deal with it. Don't worry. Um, I have an idea on how to solve it if I do run into this problem. So, um... Jaded, you can't imagine what that could be. Uh, actually, I have... I have a pretty good Oh, that's right. She went to bed. Well, the problem will be if the deployers don't pulse accurately because you have to deploy the sand before you deploy the skulls i think so depending on the timing of the deployer that might be a problem I think how are we for power one of the skulls has to be the last item that's deployed. yeah 
So if I need to, I'll just change my, I'll just have two wire frequencies, one for the top and one for the bottom. So uh, how are we doing? Soren, you've got the, uh, the stuff, right? Yeah. Almost done. Bring me a little bit of iron too, would you? Mm -hmm. Like eight of them. Oh, that's perfect. I have eight iron on me. Perfect. I need to upgrade this to an iron chest. Give people more room. If you know what I mean. And anything else? I, I'll just bring that with me, sure. All right. So I've emptied out my inventory. Uh, I don't think I need this lap pack. Don't want to lose that, really. So I think this is time for a test. I like Age Wither. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so how's my force field doing? Tog, you're in charge of keeping an eye on this force energy here. How's it doing? Eh, that's okay. It's draining, but... All right, I'm going to hit yes. Are you ready? Uh-oh, there's a wither in there. <laughs> it worked. Look, it's there. I didn't hear the noise for the wither, though. Soren, did you charge up the uh, no, you won't. MFSU? There it is. Now I heard the noise. Okay. <laughs> that was close. And uh, upgrade this chest over here to an iron chest for me. Uh... All right. First thing I want to test is the emergency shutdown, maybe. Just to make sure it works. Ta-da! Wither killed. And note that he didn't drop the nether uh, star. That is cool. <laughs> I am pretty proud of that. I think this might crash, not guaranteed. Oh, yeah? Okay. Occasionally it crashes clients. Occasionally. Occasionally. So. That's a bug we're working on. And by we, I mean CPW. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to get a little bit more of the uh, nether skulls and whatnot. I'm not ready for this thing to run full time yet, but. Now, how do you charge these multi tools? Uh, you throw them in the capacitor. Can't you use an Omni wrench? Not to get in. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right, guys, I'm gonna fight the Nether for real, and I'll be right back before I do that. All right, guys, we're back, and I'm ready to fight him for real, engaging the Wither. Ah. Wither spawn. Remember not to go in there before he, uh, you know. Was? Yeah, explodes. There we go. Oh boy, that is painful. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is really painful. I had full quantum. So I was fried by a force field. He, he uh,. Thunderdark said it so that the force fields can, re when it retaliates, it ignores armor, basically. Oh, because I was hit by a force field. What the heck? I, I killed him so you can get your point. stuff back, Soren. Okay, we might want to fix that part. Yeah, most of your stuff seems to be there. I hope it's all Oops. there. I don't I see have... any quantum armor. Did you have a tool on you, Soren? You have a tool? Uh... Well, yeah, how were you killed, anyway? I had the multi-tool on me. Yeah, it's not there. My quantum's yeah. gone, my lap pack. <laughs> oh, well. We have plenty of uh, stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By request, by the way, guys, Thunderdark recently made a change. I don't know if he uh, pushed it to the Dropbox yet, but he made a change so that if uh, the force field mode and the security settings are such that players are allowed to pass through the force field, it won't damage them when they hit it. So that's uh, uh that's gonna make this better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Does someone know where Jaded Cat's place? Is? Uh, actually, Ice. You know where J uh, Jaded has her villagers at? Uh, hidden down in a little section before she had some of them. Okay, I just I was curious if maybe you want to help me move some villagers. I found a uh. A TC villager. Well, my ender bag went away too. Not for T. 
particularly right this second. I'm kind of busy. All right. Then I, I will just go well, over here. Well, in fairness, I killed the nether just now, or the wither, because, you know, I was trying to let Soren get his stuff back. Yeah. Well, right. I think the Let's try this again. I'm going to stay over here. Watch. Wither spawn. Oh boy. <laughs> that hurts a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. These guys are tough, dude. This does not seem like the best way to kill a winner. No. It's meant to be hard. <laughs> I'm not going to easy mode the boss for you. No. Which I could do, by oh, the way. Come on. <laughs> talk. Come on, talk in there. Yeah, I'd be dead. I was. <laughs> I, hey, I give you guys the option of escaping to utter safety. All you gotta do is have well, a field teleporter on To you. be fair, I couldn't even escape because what killed me was my entrance. <laughs> yeah. You're not making any progress here. I made. I, I did a little damage to him. Hey, yeah, he, he's so retired. Dire. He's healing. Yeah. So dire. Um, you're gonna yeah. set it so that uh, everyone else can farm the wither, but the same thing that happened to Soren will always happen to RG, right? Yes. Probably. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put RG in the in the kill zone. <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy enters the area. Dude, it's a little tough because of like the force field hurting you. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get some stuff to like help me survive this, I think. Yeah, we just need the update for Thunder uh, supposed to do some force field so hurt you. Well, yeah. that's not the issue for Dire Follow. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it is a little bit, because if I miss swinging my sword at him, it hurts a lot. Yeah. Oh, if you whack. Yep. Yep. Yeah, if I hit the force field with my sword, it's doing a lot of damage to me right now. Holy heal. Basically, the force field is how it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem here. I'm shutting this down. No. You don't just want to keep a pet with her with you? I kind of yeah. do, but I think I need to get some potions or something so, like, I don't die as much. And uh, we also need that change to MFFS so that it doesn't hurt you when you hit the force field with your sword, because that's really painful. It is. You got some potions of healing. Yeah, that I can get some of those. Is. Like, I'm going to need some potions is what I'm going to need. Okay. Uh, you get the actually, your best bet is probably the potion regeneration since you're getting damage as you're fighting. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, YouTube, we will be back. Once I get some potions or something. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm going to try this battle again. Engage with her. Here he comes. I got some healing potions on me. Brought a few extra in the chest there, so that should hopefully help. Ah, it didn't help. <laughs> It's the high energy field thing, dude. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm making myself some quantum body armor. I need a little bit more protection down there than I think I've currently got. So I'm charging it up. I should have brought the, uh, the Lapatron crystals up here with me too, but oh well. Yeah. I know That's what right. King Lemming skin looks like. Yeah? A little Lemming with a crown on it. It should. I only I know, know what uh... King... <laughs> I only know from the picture that there was made for Force Draft. Dang. Oh, gotcha. And that is horribly out of date. Is it really? Yeah. All right, it's a, there's a cough on the end, which I know you told me what it stood for. All right, yeah, so I've got my quantum off. body suit armor. It's almost fully charged here. And then we're going to go engage another wither. I'm going to kill him this time, I hope. Somebody should tell Azanor that uh, quantum bodysuit armor deserves more than nine um, aspects of armor. 
<laughs> Considering nine. iron boots get four. Um, yeah. And I don't... You, you're using a sword. Weather time. Have you tried using a, uh, a power four bow against the wither? No. Should I? Yeah, the bows are much more effective against the withers. Ooh, and I bet the bow wouldn't, like, accidentally hit the walls, would it? It uh, still has it does, a shooter. It, it, it doesn't retaliate against you, though. I right, that's what I'm thinking. All right, let me go get a bow. All right, let's see what it's going to cost. I did have a Power 3 book in the uh, chest over here that I had a bunch of stuff, so what's it going to cost to put that on there? That will cost five levels. I can manage that, I think. Remember, I don't have anything on me. Hey, that's empty. Why is that thing empty? These are all empty. What's empty? The uh, things. Has everybody been abusing the experience? No, I'm thinking it's because we updated Thalmcraft today. That could be it, yeah. Right. They probably have to run the farms again. I'm going to flip on the Blaze farm real quick. Maybe you should turn on the Wither farm instead. I'm going to put on the Wither and the Witch farm. Turn them all on! Yep, I'll check that plan. in just a second, Soren. Yeah, I like this farm. This is a cool one. Oh, maybe it's because I was left clicking instead of right clicking. Uh, yeah, there is a difference. Yeah, I could do it Not too. Dude, it's getting late. I need to go to bed soon. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, combining oh, enchanted book with power it. three, enchantment cost five. That will go there. Let's go down and see if we can kill this wither. What do you say? <laughs> I'll watch. Cool. I still have watch. To watch. My quantum. I mean, Darren, have, have you ever played Terraria? No. Um, maybe. Do you remember the Wall of Flesh? Oh, oh no, I, yeah. I didn't play it that much. Oh. I see. Here goes. Fight, fighting, fighting the Wither is if you fight the Wither the same way you fight the Wall of Flesh, it's almost easy, just too easy, even in leather armor. Yeah. Well, here goes nothing. Ow. You're right, this is much easier with one tomorrow. <laughs> it's harder to hit him, though. There you go. Uh, Wah -ha -ha. Yeah, if you have a nano sword, that's actually he's dead. dead. The nano sword's one of the most effective things to kill him with. Nice. Quantum armor for the win. <laughs> that oh, was cool. Nervous. Watching all the uh, <laughs> watching all the arrows fall after the force field <laughs> went off. How cool was that? That was fun. Oh, that is awesome. Lemming, I need some type of power armor in TE, so we'll have to uh, wait for someone. I want to do another one. <laughs> do it. Yeah, that's the bow and arrow. This sword is uber. And because of my quantum armor, I don't have to worry so much about the wither's damage. Hello, guys. Just take your and whack the wither. Thank you, Ice. I'm just trying not to hit the force field because that would be bad. I like how he's following me. Yeah, even in yeah. quantum armor, the force field will screw you over. Yeah, the force field is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, Thunder specifically made it for the force field to do that to, to prevent people from trying to wear uber armor to break the force field. Uh, Full armor is what's up. Like. I'm the one that suggested it to him. I kept saying, well, people are breaking through this way. Can you make it so it does this? And he did it, and I'm like, cool. Full armor all the way. Arrows disappear. Watch the arrows fall. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That is an awesome arena. It is. The only, you know, with you saying the arrows fall, would be really funny. The only thing that'd be better than that is if you had a uh, archangel smite. Dude, my uh, my <laughs> helmet is almost like out of juice. Yeah. Probably because it's constantly yeah. repairing the uh, withers effects. Yep. Mind if I take one of these nether stars? Yeah, go for it. For the people. 
So uh, we definitely have to have like a better supply of power down here because we definitely need to not have too big of a problem. You know, the same way that you're loaning out uh, the the Empathest multi tools, right? You can probably you can probably loan out a uh, quantum suit for people to fight there too. Just have the uh, force field strip the quantum suit off when they try to leave. But then what happens if somebody's wearing their own Q-suit and they come in there? Then you put a big sign up there saying don't bring your own armor. People don't read. <laughs> I they don't will, read. They, they, they will after they lose their armor. I don't read after that. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. All right, YouTube audience, we will be back in just a few minutes. All right, guys, one more wither battle, just because this is too much fun, uh, and because we have to wrap up the episode anyway. So, so uh, put a sign up here right behind Neptune that just uh, reminds people that they need to take a field teleporter. There's no way anybody's going to get into the field um, and forget one. So uh, reminding them they can take a field teleport module. There's actually two that are going to be stored in there at all times. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And how is my capacitor doing? Actually getting a little low. What is up, capacitor? Do me a favor, Soren, and let's swap out those uh, Labatron crystals. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need a power system to that. And uh, I definitely need to not hit the force field with my sword. <laughs> yeah, there's a full one in there. Cool. So this is... Oh, did somebody get the take the lever off of this thing? Who turned the lever off? Not that. Somebody in trouble. <laughs> I had put one you see in the background. It's like, let me out. Yeah, the weather in the background is like, I'm trapped. And this is terrible. No, the leather is uh, the lever is required. Yeah, like that's what actually makes things run and behave themselves. It okay. produces more power. Okay. That would be bad. All right, I need him to like stop paying attention. <laughs> Hitbox, anyway, it's hard to hit him. Yeah. This is awesome. It's destroying my armor, though. Like, if I don't be careful, I will. Yeah, dude, my helmet is almost gone. Like, and I just recharged it before this battle. Nice. All right, well, you guys have fun. I'm going to wander off. Cool, man, later. So I got, I got two yeah. nether stars now. How cool is that? Nice. So I'm going to hang on, get all my stuff back here. I'll leave this in there. And this and these guys are mine. Nice. So I'm leaving some potions for people. I'll leave the two multi-tools for these guys. So anybody who wants to come in here and fight the nether, or the wither, why do I keep calling them the nether? I don't know why I do that. Down the same two letters. It does. Off. It's brutal. We need power down here, like, real quick. So I'm going to have to set up some kind of way of transporting power from, uh, you know, one uh, place to the other. I have an idea. It's a little crazy, I'm not going to lie, but I have an idea. So maybe next episode we'll have to get into that. But uh, for now, I think we're pretty close to wrapping up, aren't we? There was another Lapatron in here. I guess you have it, Zorn. Yeah. So we're going to need some more oh, soul right. sand, some more uh, wither skulls. Uh, I think we've got the wither spawner going, taking care of that for us. Uh, you know, we got some other cool stuff planned. But we definitely need to make sure we have power. And I also, like, this makes me a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, but uh, we don't have any way to test whether there's enough power in that force field. So, like, you know, it's definitely within the realm of possibility that somebody would accidentally turn it on and then like the force field's not on and then we have a problem so i should probably set something up around the idea of hey if there isn't enough power for some reason you know figure it out i have to see if there's a turtle that can read the capacitor what you guys all up to we're just like both in the gravity guns uh. <laughs> and i get to make a portal gun now which i'm very excited about yep how many nether stars do you have now? Like three. 
Make me one too. I've got like six or something that I haven't used yet. Yeah, awesome. You want a portal gun too, Soren? I'll make you one. I'll Please. be happy to. Yeah. So I'm gonna need uh, about oh, just one Ender Pearl gets you eight Ender Pearl dust. Wow. That should probably be a little Gangsta. one to one. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. talk to IG about that. That should be one to one. There's that a reason to do it then. Like I get that the Nether Star is the balancing act in that equation, but eight. We'll come back down in a minute. We're going up to space. It's nine with a macerator, actually, which is <laughs> even weirder. What? Is it nine? Yeah. On a macerator, yeah, but you only need eight. So it's like, what? Buy eight, get the ninth free or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get one nether star, and then what else do I need while I'm in here? So I want a bacon gun or a potato gun. What's the difference? I guess the bacon think, gun, right? That's the one that makes it guns, unique to me. I think potato gun's the same thing, but uh, with uh, glad I was talking to you. I think the potato gun will transport more than one person at a time, won't it? More than one at a time? I seem to remember portals yanking in a couple of friends when I used it, but I don't know. Let me just test it. If you're right, near another anyone. star, Ender Pearl Dust. I'm pretty excited that I get to finally make this thing. Yeah, potato gun seems just to have the uh... default portal gun. And then I want to put uh, pork on it or something, right? It's raw pork. Yeah, right? just raw pork. pork. Do we have any raw pork? Or are you cooking everything? I'm cooking everything. <laughs> you're cooking everything. Mm -hmm. And we have oh man, all kinds of nuggets up here. <laughs> I need to go check the basement anyways. Alright. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back, and I'm combining my raw pork with my portal gun. Nice. So I got raw pork chop. Cool. Bacon gun. That's one that makes it unique to me still, right? <laughs> Woot! And it works, which is even better. Nice. Huge improvement over prior versions. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. Oh, dude, this is awesome. All right, we are way past the wrapping up point at this point, so I'm sorry to say, but I got to sign off here. So hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Wither uh, uh, Battleground area. I think it's a pretty cool setup. Like I said, there's a couple tweaks we're going to have to make to it. More power uh, we're going to need. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> This is how I travel from now on. Uh, we're going to need more power, and we're going to need uh, some kind of way to detect how much energy is in the capacitor. One way that I'm thinking we might want to do that, it's not foolproof, but it's definitely going to help, is just detect the energy level of the MFSU. And if it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to have to be something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, we're good. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and take it easy.